Всем привет! Are you tired of wasting your time while working with attached groups in Revit? In this video, I'll show you my latest new tools that will allow you to duplicate, rename, and show multiple attached groups that you will select. Without further ado, let's dive deeper. This tool is part of EF Tools extension. You can install it absolutely for free, and the link will be in the description of this video. These tools will help you a lot on large projects, where you need to show attached groups in hundreds of views. In addition, duplicating and renaming tools will keep everything more organized and save you quite some time. Let's start with showing attached groups tool. For this tool, you need to select a few views in your project browser where you would like to show your attached groups. Go to EF Tools tab, and in Groups panel, select Attached Groups Show. In this dialog box, we need to select all the groups that we are interested in. In my case, all of these groups have WHG prefix for apartment, and I click Select. In the second dialog box, it asks us to select attached groups to show. I want to select that one and click Select. And now it will start displaying attached groups and selected views. And here we go. I can close this one. This is just reporting dialog box. Uh, for this tool, you don't need to have all of your views open and tiled. I just do it for demonstration purposes. Let's move to the next tool. Duplicating and renaming are very similar tools. Let's run both of them. Duplicate your attached groups, go to EF Tools tab. In Groups panel, click on Attached Groups Duplicate. Same as before, in this dialog box, we need to select groups that we are interested in. I'll select all apartment groups. Then in the second dialog box, we need to select attached groups to duplicate. I'll go with the same one as I chose before. And in final dialog box, we have ability to create a new name. I want to find the word Ausgabe. I want to replace it with new name. And I'm going to add prefix. Click on duplicate. Okay. And I think it's complete. Now if I click on this apartment group and go and attach detail groups, I can see that there is one new attached group. It has replaced the word Ausgabe with a new name and added prefix pre in the beginning. I will show it instead of this one. And you can see that this is identical. Now let's say we want to rename it, same as before. Come here and click on attach groups rename. Click on that one. I want to select every single apartment group. I don't want to rename this one. Here I would like to find the prefix that we gave earlier and I want to replace it with nothing. Click on rename. Okay. And now if I come here, you can see that now it's called just new name VPA4. Thank you everyone for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And if you're already using EF tools on your daily work, consider becoming a patron to support development of even more tools. That's it for today, goodbye.